Imagine stepping into a vibrant world of colour where the air is filled with the intoxicating scent of a million blossoms. Welcome to the annual flower fairs of southern China, a spectacle that marks the beginning of the Chinese New Year. But have you ever wondered how the richness of Chinese culture impacts the world of business? Meet our entrepreneur, a visionary from the heart of Europe, embarking on a journey through the bustling cities of Shenzhen and Guangzhou. Amidst the floral extravaganza, he delves into the intricate layers of Chinese business culture, an experience that proves to be as enriching as it is challenging. In Shenzhen, a city pulsating with innovation and dynamism, our entrepreneur discovers the importance of guanxi, or relationships, in Chinese business. It is not just about transactions, but about building long-lasting connections that are nurtured over time. He learns that patience, respect and mutual trust are the building blocks of successful business ventures in China. Moving on to Guangzhou, a city steeped in history and tradition, he uncovers another facet of Chinese business culture. Here, the concept of mianzi, or face, takes center stage. Preserving one's reputation and dignity in the public eye, he realizes, is as crucial as striking a profitable deal. As he navigates the labyrinth of Chinese business, our entrepreneur also learns about the importance of understanding business from national, regional and even city and community levels. One size does not fit all in this vast and diverse country. His journey through the flower fairs of Shenzhen and Guangzhou is not just a sensory delight, but a valuable lesson in cross-cultural management. For it is in understanding and appreciating these cultural nuances that foreign companies can truly flourish in the Chinese market. So, to all the European entrepreneurs out there, heed this call to action. Master the art of cross-cultural management, embrace the richness of Chinese culture, and let the year of the dragon be the year you conquer the Chinese market. Because in the world of business, just like in a flower fair, it's the richness of diversity that makes all the difference.